Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? We got Kenny Evans here again. Another car video. And this video is about re the reason why men should not check their women's phones. And it's a very interesting topic, you know, and um, I get it. You know, you feel like if your woman has nothing to hide, she should be open to allowing you to check her phone. You should be able to check it whenever you want. And that logically makes a lot of sense. But emotionally, it doesn't. Because if you have to check her phone, that means you have a feeling that she might be doing something that you don't want her to be doing. And you want to make sure that she's not doing it. And that feeling is about neediness. And I get it. You know, ideally, you want to be checking women's phones who you're in a relationship with. Ideally, if you are, as much as I don't think you should either way. Because that shows that you have distrust with this woman. And if you have distrust with that woman, I get it. Women can put up a front for a long time. But you should have vetted her well enough in order for her to either gain you, your trust before she became your girlfriend or wife or girlfriend. Or you should have kicked her out when you sensed that distrust. Things are easy. Things are very simple. We make them harder than they have to be because we get caught up in our emotions and not our logic. As men, you got to always be logic based. Don't get caught up in your emotions. And you should never, ever, ever have to check a woman's phone. If you guys are just dating, nothing serious. You should be able to, she should be able to earn your trust. You know, and I get it. And, you know, uh, you know, when you talk about relationships, women having single girlfriends and all that and them going out with them. And yes, that is a recipe for disaster. But you have to have a woman who is going to listen to you. And she should have been vetted all the way up until before she got and became your, your girlfriend. So she, you tell her you don't want her to do that, she will listen to you and she will respect you. But what she does before she becomes your girlfriend should not be your, any your business as long as it does not deal with you and it does not affect you. As men, we got to be better. We got to be better. We got to stop being so emotional with women who are not good for us. There are a lot of women while you're talking or dating. They show you so many red flags. Boom, boom. They're disrespectful. They kind of got eyes for other guys. You know, they're not always honest. They're kind of secretive. You know, kind of bossy, but you put up with it because of how she looks. And that's your fault. You got to learn how to vet women and always have the abundance mindset. Realize that you will get better women. There are other women out there who will want you and who will be submissive and obedient to me and will to you and follow your lead. You got to keep that in mind and you got to be willing to check women immediately. You give them one warning. There's no second warning. Second time they're out. But you have to be able to vet women and check them when they do you wrong. And you cannot be afraid to lose women and cut them off. You have to understand this world is your kingdom and you have to make it as you want it to be. And I understand you got a lot of different influence. 
influences in the world, but you have to control what you can control, regardless of what's going on around you. You have to control what you can control. And that comes back to women and their phones. You cannot control what a woman does when she's not with you. Even if you're in a relationship, you cannot control what she does with, with when she's with you. Or when she, well, when she's not with you. You can't control what she does. She may have stuff in her phone. But you wanting to look at her phone, it shows weakness. It shows insecurity. It shows you're not very strong. It shows you're putting her on a, on a pedestal. It shows you're putting value, more value on her than you do yourself. Because even if she was to be talking to another guy and she you caught her cheating, you looking at her phone, it doesn't change the fact that she is talking to other guys. It doesn't fa- change the fact that she's cheating on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to change the fact that she cheated on you. It means you didn't do something right. She lost interest or she wanted something more and she went out and got it. Now it's your responsibility to cut her off and move on. As a strong man, that's what you will do. It's time to cut her off and move on. But regardless of what she has on her phone again you cannot control what she does when she's not with you like the old pickup artist MGTOW saying is when a woman is with you she is not or when she is or about a woman it is she is not yours it's just your turn And that goes even with in marriage, in a relationship. You know, all you can do is when she's with you. And I get it, you have a pride and respect and, you know, you don't want to be made a fool. You got this woman doing stuff behind your back and you don't know about it. But again, let's say you check your phone and you find it. You're finding it. You're not stopping it. Meaning, it is time to cut her off, but you still had the feeling and you still felt the need to check your phone, meaning you knew there was something wrong. And that means it had already happened before it got in the phone or was about to happen through her thoughts and again through her actions. Meaning you vetted her wrong, or you didn't vet her very well, or you did not do what you had to do within that interaction to keep her faithful to you, or have have her loyalty. And again, that's on you. As the man, that's on you. Anything that happens goes right or wrong within the interaction between you and another woman is on you. If she treats you like shit, it's because you put up with it. You should have left her. If she treats you well, it's because you trained her well. Anything that happens between you and a woman is on you as the man. A woman will only do what you allow. And that goes with life. People only do what you allow them to do. You know, so looking in a a woman's phone is weak. And if you feel that need, again, it's because you're feeling needy and insecure about your relationship with that woman. I know a lot of guys will tell you, hey, look in that woman's phone. And if she doesn't want to let you look in her phone, then you got to replace her. Let her go. And that's fair. And there's something about having a woman that's open. But if you're going to do that, you shouldn't have to ask. You guys should, she should be able to share her phone with you with no problem. If you're going to look in your phone and you don't do it to find something, 
Maybe you do it to just see what she got going on in her life. You know what I mean? But that's if you're in the conversation, say, hey, look at this. What I said. You know, you guys are having a conversation, say she showed you something. And then you just kind of casually look, just to look, just to see what she got on. Because you're not always going to be with her. But you shouldn't be looking to find something against her to cut her off. Because then it's too late. It's too late. You know, and you're already in the lower position. You're already in that lower position. And you should move on. But this is obviously what you would do before you get in a relationship. This would be a part of the vetting process. You know, so. That's all I got for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, this topic. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the notification vid uh, button. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And if you find value in this video, uh, don't forget to donate. So I appreciate y'all. Um, be safe. You know, all this, these videos and all these um, topics are all about helping you guys be better, stronger men. And to uh, have more control of your life, especially with women. You know, so uh, let me know what y'all think again. And until next week, peace.